How's it going guys? I am back after a whole year of not making any videos. Uh, that is due solely to the fact that I was going through nuclear power school as well as prototype and I have not had any time to actually sit down, make a video, edit, and upload. Uh, I've had a lot of people wanting me to make a video about nuclear power school so that is what we're going to be diving into today. So for nuclear power school it is going to be a six month long schooling for all rates MM, EM, and ET. Um, it is completely different than how a school is ran due to the fact that you're actually learning reactor theory instead of learning how a wrench works or how a, how a circuit works or anything. You're, you're actually kind of, you're being born into the, the field of nuclear power and you're going to start having your, this wide open moment where you're like, wow, I'm actually learning things that are going to pertain to my job. One of the key differences for power school is that now instead of doing one class at a time like a school is you're going to be doing three classes at a time for power school you're going to start off in a class where you're going to be just learning the basic uh, systems for everything it's only like a week long so it doesn't really count more or less people like to say uh, however it kind of gives you this first introduction after that you're going to move on to mathematics you're going to move on to calculus based physics uh, and then you're eventually going to start your heat transfer and fluid flow where you're going to learn about thermodynamic properties and how they change and how they interact with each other. These three baseline courses are going to be taken in tangent with each other and they aren't necessarily too difficult. However, um, some people like to start to overthink a little bit, a bit of things and uh, they start to confuse themselves. Uh, everything is theory based and it's more conceptual understanding than it is memorizing. So if you're really good at understanding concepts and understanding how things work with each other, like if you put two things together and how one thing leads to another thing um, in like this fluent flow, then it's gonna be a lot easier than just trying to memorize words on a paper. Next set of classes you're gonna be moving into are your reactor principles and your in-rate slash cross-rate classes. The reactor principles is where you're going to be learning everything about reactor technology, about reactor-based physics, about uh, nuclear-based physics, um, everything that there is to go into theory behind reactor power and nuclear power. Uh, you're going to be learning all of that within this course. This course you're going to be taking throughout approximately three to four months. It is the longest course that they have there aside from the in-rate and cross-rate courses. And it's where you're going to learn all of your baseline knowledge for how all of this works together. Cross rate and in rate portion of power school is when you're going to be learning cross rate, which is going to be anything that is outside of your rate, as well as in rate, which is going to be more hardship on what you've learned previously in A school, but now applied to nuclear theory. The whole point behind this is so that you have a general understanding of how the entire plant works as a whole so you're going to learn cross plant for that and then you're going to learn more about what you do as your rate in your in rate section the third class you're going to be battling at the same time is going to be cmr which is chemistry materials and radcon the whole purpose of this is so that you have a in-depth understanding of nuclear paste chemistry as well as how different interactions occur within the plant to maintain it healthy the materials portion is where you're going to learn in-depth science revolving around metals as well as metallurgy. Uh, it is more or less where you're going to be learning how metals uh, interact and how they maintain themselves when under different stresses. The last portion of this is where you're going to be learning health physics and you're going to be learning the different aspects that radiation has on the body and on health and how we properly are able to avoid any major exposures. So that is just a general overview of all the classes you're going to be partaking in when you're going through power school. Uh, when you're putting in your study hours, it's going to be much different than how it was in A school. You don't really have a daily requirement, however, you're still going to have your weekly requirement. So you're going to have to actually pick what hours you think works best for you, and you have to do them. One of the good things is, though, now that you are in power school, as long as you are E4, then you get to actually go in and study in just regular clothing, like civilian clothing. You don't have to go into the schoolhouse with your uniform on. You can just go in relaxed after hours and just study how you want. However, the same rule still applies that you can't have any electronics in the building, such as a phone or an MP3 player. So just take it and run that you still get to wear civilian clothing and enjoy that aspect of studying. All in all, nuclear power school is not that difficult. 
Some people are going to take it at a completely different pace than others. Some are going to be able to put in five hours a week and just blow through all the courses, no problem. Some other people are going to have to put in upwards to 25 hours to 30 hours a week just to understand all of the material. And that is on top of your 10 hour school day. So you have to learn how to study at your own pace as well as learn all of the material in an ample amount of time. Some of the best advice I can give people going to power school are learn how to properly understand concepts. If there is a large concept that you can properly understand, you're going to get all of the other smaller ones that branch off of that large concept. This is going to make everything so much easier throughout power school. Like it's unexplainable. And then when you get on the prototype and you have that ability to learn concepts and big picture things, then it's going to be even better. So another one of the major differences between A school and power school is now that you are battling three classes at a time, you're also battling that much more exams at a time, three times as much. So there might be some weeks where you have two exams in one week, and with the amount of material that is being thrown into your head at the same exact time, at the fastest pace that they can try to go, then it's going to be really difficult to handle studying for an exam as well as studying for the second exam that same week, as well as doing all of your extra homework that you have for that day, as well as keeping up your social life that you have outside of there. Having a social life outside of power school instead of spending all of your hours in there is going to help a lot with de-stressing and just getting out and re reviving yourself for the next day or for the next week if it's on a weekend. Because when you're in power school, you have Monday through Friday for classes and then you have Saturday and Sunday off. And then national holidays, you also get off and uh, you still get Christmas stand down so you get to go home for Christmas. Uh, that's varying based on people now, I guess. However, back when I was there, we got Christmas stand down. I think that's all I got for this video. If you have any questions regarding power school, then please leave them down in the comments below. I'm going to help on making another video shortly on prototype, which is the third step in the entire nuclear pipeline before you actually get sent to the fleet. And I hope that some of you guys will be able to use this as a good resource and a good insight to what you're about to be facing when you go to power school. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please just leave them in the comments below. You can contact me on social media. You can get a hold of me anyway, and I will gladly be able to answer them to the best of my ability. This is Jams, and I'm signing out.